Good afternoon, YouTube folks. This is DIY Guy123 here, and I have a, an interesting problem to describe to you and what I did to fix it. This is a 2001 Chev Tahoe, but uh, this really, this video is about any vehicle with a front or rear differential that has a vent tube. And uh, I checked my rear differential fluid to see if it was up, and it was up, it was fine. And I also checked the vent tube to make sure that it was attached to the rear differential on one end and also the other end of the vent tube was high, you know, high like above say the wheel height uh, because I often launch a boat with this truck and the axle could be either submerged or nearly submerged and I want to make sure the vent tube was all right. What I found was, and I'll show you here, the vent tube was completely rotten off. So... There's the hose in the center of the screen. The hose is there. That little thing sticking up right there, that is the vent tube, the old one. But it is so rotten and corroded. And at the top of that vent tube is in fact completely sealed shut with rust. And so that, well, what shall I do with that vent tube? Do I take a little tiny drill bit and drill it out? Do I try to uh, remove it? And there's really nothing to grab onto to remove it. It's really, uh, there's not much to grab onto. So the idea I had was the, the drain plug is in the bottom of the differential and the fill plug is up there. And for anybody interested and doesn't know, on these Chevs, this is a 2001 Tahoe, the full-size Chev, the fluid level, after you fill the differential up, it should not be pouring out the uh, fill plug. It should actually be between 10 and 40 millimeters below the level of that fill plug. That's normal. So, so I really wanted to make sure that I did have a vent line. Because if you don't, your seals can be damaged when the, trans when the differential heats up and the fluid and air expands and the air doesn't have anywhere to go. It can either pop a seal, or more likely it will just push fluid past the seal. Or the other thing that you may not even observe right away is it may put extra pressure on the inside of your seal surfaces, causing them to seal harder and wear prematurely. And that's most likely what will happen. However, what I'm going to do is instead of uh, putting the fill plug back in, which is a half inch thread, a half inch pipe thread, I got a nipple and then a 90 degree coupler and then another nipple and then an adapter, a reducer I guess you'd say, and then a, a little piece of rubber hose with an adapter on it and it will go to the original um, original vent line. So I'm going to do that and show you what I uh, see there and then I'll, I'll be back when it's installed. Okay, so here we are with the finished product. We've got the uh, I Teflon taped everything that goes right into the fill plug and, uh, and I've got this uh, half inch nipple into a half inch elbow into a half inch nipple into a half to I don't know three eighths maybe coupler uh, reducer I should say you can't see the other end of that reducer it's underneath the hose clamp then I got a rubber hose that goes over that and then <coughs> That rubber hose we can follow it along and it goes to that yellow thing which looks like a Y and it's actually a piece of a vacuum line or something like an adapter um, there we go I can see it so comes in here and then goes out there and it looks like there's a piece here well that was a Y but I've just put a, a screw in there to seal it off and uh, and so it's you know pretty tight. I put the screw in tight enough that I could see the plastic start to mushroom. So I'm confident it's pretty pretty good. And when I need to check the uh, you know rear end fluid again, I'm just going to disconnect it right here where I'm touching, and then uh, all this long hose will come out here about 18 inches, and then I'll just unthread it right at the rear end and check it and reverse the procedure uh, to keep this thing from wearing. I'm actually going to put a little tie wrap around. I got a brake line, a newer brake line that's around here. I'm going to tie wrap it just so that it doesn't flop around, but uh, that should take care of my event problem.